that's what I, I, I strongly recommend. And by this stage during your study leave, you want to be going over and over again those past question papers, mark, using your mark schemes to mark them. And most importantly as well, make sure you time yourself. Okay? Because what you don't want to do is to end up in a situation where in the exams you run out of time. So it's extremely important that at this stage you are timing yourself and make sure that as you do that, uh, you, are, you are pretty much within time. You read through your revision books over and over again. Don't take for granted though your strong subjects. Lots and lots of past question papers, I say. Go through those, make use of mind maps and take regular breaks. Make sure you rest, okay? So if you normally work through, for example, uh, a study leave or if you're on holidays, uh, half term, if you work through Monday to Saturday, I say take Sunday off. Or if you, whatever you do, give yourself a day that you have a break, okay? And in that break, you give yourself time to recuperate. I love this. It says, when you reach the end of your rope, tie a knot in it and hang on. Thomas Jefferson. So in other words, that's when you've you've uh, uh, put in your best, that little extra, the end of it, okay? Just keep going, going through it again and again and again. I've got here suggested approach for uh, by subject, by math. I say work on the topics that you're least confident on at first and practice and practice and practice with uh, physics, chemistry, biology, read your textbooks, revision guide. Again, lots of question papers. English literature, you want to read the books, you want to remember the quotes, the key ones, learn them by heart. English language, remember your structure, the structure of your essays, past question papers, different techniques. All of those you need to bear in mind with history. You need to remember the different sequence of events. Uh, I find that helps. And with geography, focus on your case studies and all of those things. Uh, so there are methods uh, uh, to this, and I'm sure you will all do very well. It's, well, a regular intervals. A lot of fish, I say. Oily fish, eggs, vegetables, peanut butter, all of this. And of course, the day before your exams, <laughs> make sure you get a good night's sleep. Get a good night's sleep. Uh, at the day of the exam, arrive early, eat breakfast, take your stationery with you, okay? You're going to be fine. I'm, I'm just, uh, about your question, but as I always say, make sure that you read through uh, at least twice before you start to write your answers. Read through, even if it's a long one, make sure you read through to the end of the, of the question. Then read again, highlight key words, okay? Plan your answers and answer the question. For adventure, if there's a question you're not too sure about, Highlight the ones that you understand there and write everything you know about that. You won't go wrong. And don't spend too long on any questions at all. Okay, maximum one minute. And uh, keep working hard. Give it all, all it takes. Lots and lots of question, past question papers working on. And I'm sure you're all going to do really, really well. But if you're interested in any of my, uh, my quotes, I can send you copies uh, with all these quotes. But uh, that's pretty much my time is spent. That's pretty much it. Wow. Wow.